Hello everyone. Welcome back to Dr. Coder's Medical Coding Classes. So today I will explain chapter 13, ICD chapter, Diseases of Musculoskeletal System. So the code range for this chapter is M series M00 to M99. So this chapter disease of musculoskeletal system involves disease conditions of bones, muscles, joints etc. Okay, so mainly you have guidelines here for fracture and related conditions. So the first one sight and laterality. So whenever you are taking a quote from this M series, first, first point that you have to keep in mind is the sight. Okay, sight means whether the bone is affected or the joint is affected or the muscle is affected. Okay, the next point is laterality. What is laterality? Laterality means which side of the body is affected. That is left side or right side or both left and right side. Okay. So, in case in the documentation, it is given that that particular condition affects both left and right means you have to uh, search for the term bilateral. Okay, if you have code for bilateral condition means you have to take that code. If you don't have this bilateral bilateral term means uh, you have to code two codes, one for left and one for right. Okay, bilateral is there means single code is enough. Otherwise, code separately for both left and right. Okay, next one, bone versus joint. In some cases, uh, for example, fracture, it might be indicated like uh, the fracture is in the upper part of the bone. But, uh, as long as it is not mentioned as joint, we have to consider it as the fracture of bone itself. Okay, to take it as joint, there should be clear specification as joint. Next one, acute traumatic versus chronic recurrent musculoskeletal conditions. So, this musculoskeletal conditions are of two types. Acute traumatic condition and chronic recurrent condition. I will explain it with the help of fracture as example. Okay, so. Going on to fracture, fracture is of two types. Okay, traumatic fracture as well as pathologic fracture. So, what is the difference between traumatic fracture and pathologic fracture? First one, traumatic fracture. Traumatic fracture is that fracture which is caused due to trauma. Okay, fracture is bone breaking. So, bone breaking due to some trauma. Okay, like... Uh, a, a transport accident, a vehicle accident or a fall down from stairs. Okay, um, such bone breaking. Okay, due to trauma. That is called traumatic fracture. Okay, it is an acute fracture. Okay, it is an acute fracture, current fracture and this traumatic fracture, traumatic injuries should be coded as S series. Okay, so this traumatic fractures are not coming under this chapter. It comes under chapter 19 S series. Okay. Then the second type is pathologic fracture. Okay. Pathologic fracture. From the term itself you can identify what is pathologic fracture. The fracture that occurs due to some underlying condition. Okay, that is pathologic fracture. So, this pathologic fracture is otherwise called a chronic fracture, recurrent. Okay, result of a previous injury. This pathologic fracture is coded as M series. That is this chapter, chapter 13. Okay, then the last point. If not clear whether acute or chronic, query the provider. That is from the documentation, if it is not clear whether the fracture is acute fracture or it is a pathologic or chronic fracture, means you can query the provider. Okay, so if you are getting any fracture question means, what you have to do is, uh, even if you are uh, searching for the code also in the alphabetic index, you have to search 
in the fracture under the fracture you have to identify the type if it is traumatic or pathologic and go for it okay if it is traumatic you will get a series codes if it is pathologic you will get m series codes next one is coding of pathologic fractures so i said mm, the pathologic fracture comes under this chapter m series the pathologic fracture is that fracture that is due to some underlying condition that occurs due to some underlying condition okay so now let's discuss about the seventh character of pathologic fracture okay so we know that uh, icd codes maximum character is seven characters then the seventh character for pathologic fractures the usual seventh par uh, seventh characters are a d and s now let's see what does it means okay so in the case of pathologic fracture the seventh character a stands for active treatment active treatment okay it is not the initial encounter but it is active treatment that is the patient with the pathologic fracture if he comes for the first time or second time or third time if the treatment undergoing is the active treatment part means you can give the seventh character as a okay this is only for the case of fractures the next one seventh character d seventh character d should be given once the active treatment is completed and the patient is receiving routine care during healing period okay the common procedures that comes under this um, routine care include cast change then medication adjustment all comes under the routine care okay so seventh character a is for active treatment d is for routine care and the next common seventh character is s seventh character s is for sequelae what is a sequelae means sequelae is the late effect or consequence okay which means a particular condition that arises from fracture i will explain with an example Uh, the patient previously had a nasal septum fracture which was healed but due to that as a consequence of that uh, nasal septum fracture the patient currently have a deviated nasal septum means this deviated nasal septum is the sequelae of the se nasal septum fracture okay so that is sequelae if the condition is sequelae means you can give the seventh character as s next one is osteoporosis what is osteoporosis osteoporosis is a pathological condition wherein it is a systemic condition that is that means it affects all bone entire uh, bones which means the bone density decrease okay it is a condition wherein the bone density decrease that is osteoporosis so the codes for osteoporosis is m80 and m81 okay so this code um, there are two types first one is osteoporosis without current pathological fracture its code is m81 so what does it mean the patient is having osteoporosis but the patient does not have any pathological fracture currently okay but the patient might have patholo might had pathological fracture in the past osteoporotic fracture in the past but at present the patient doesn't have any osteoporotic fracture okay at that time we can give the code m81 and along with that to indicate his uh, osteoporosis fracture history we can give code z87.310 okay so the condition is osteoporosis without current pathological fracture means the code is m81 and if the patient had a history of osteoporotic fracture means you can additionally give code z87.310 next one is osteoporosis with the current pathological fracture that is the patient is having osteoporosis and currently he is having a fracture due to osteoporosis means you can give the code m80 so what all are the major points that i discussed here fractures 
musculoskeletal system condition mainly fracture uh, they are of two types traumatic fracture as well as pathologic fracture what are their differences then we discuss in this chapter about pathologic fracture and, and in chapter 19 it is about traumatic fracture then the seventh character um, for fractures what are the common seventh character what are their meaning and then about osteoporosis the co two quotes for osteoporosis that's all for this chapter hope you understood thank you